Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Happy New Year 2017. I hope you're doing well today. Today, I want to talk to you about a few things. And I hope from my last video that there were quite a few of you who did take some of the suggestions and have a low-key New Year's. The energies were intense for a lot of people. Not only were the energies intense, but there was a lot of resulting sadness and repressed emotions that people have been experiencing and still will continue to experience because of leaving the old space. So that sums up uh, several things that are happening on an energetic level for you. Now, there are reasons for it. And a lot of other people, you know, some people might be in this new space and some people have gone through a cycle. You may find that you're going through another cycle. Now, today, Mercury stations direct and things will begin pushing forward. And as you push forward, some of the things that haven't been addressed will tend to come up and they will tend to come up through the body. Now, I'm not saying everyone's going to get sick or ill, but you may have small things such as angers tend to be uh, flared up with different skin eruptions. It can be acne here. It can be on the rear end, on the back. On one, it can be unilateral also. It can be on one side and not on another side. It could be on your masculine right side or your feminine left side. A lot of people find that they have this type of thing where, you know, if you were to bisect the body, they have most of their damage on one side or the other side. And yet things are all getting into harmony and you're getting into synchronization with your twin flame. So I have a new webinar coming out. That's what the purpose of this video is also, is to announce the dates for my next live participation webinar, which will also be recorded and available afterwards. Um, the dates of it are going to be January 27th and 28th for part one. And we give you a little bit of time to integrate between. Part two will be February 10th and 11th, just before Valentine's Day. I will be talking about the Aura theme, which are the Blu-rays, and they're the, they are the people that I refer to as the Rod and Staff or the Mommy and Daddy Twin Flame Couples. Whether, whether those parental couples are hetero, gay, lesbian, trans, they are source love beings. Okay, so they've had the ability to fluidly run the energies between them so that they can actually experience everything. The, they are the parents, the, I'm going to be talking about the Orpheme as the parents and the progeny who are the first wave angelics, including the Seraphim, Ophanim, Elohim, and Nephilim. Now, if some of you have been wondering, you know, what am I? Uh, what lineage do I come from? Because a lot of it just seems to be things that you're purging out of your lineage. But why? Why are you purging some of this stuff? So I will be talking about the soul damage that has occurred to all, to everyone. And there are reasons why. You are also elevating to 5D and beyond. So this, you know, a lot of people talk about the new earth, but part of the reason that you have some of the things popping out on the inside of your body, the spine, is so that you can go beyond the earth. Earth is the gateway. The new earth is the cosmic galactic gateway. And being together in love is how you do this. You cannot phone this in with a soulmate. Only you and your twin have the exactly matching vibration that you're heightening and heightening and heightening in the entire universe. With a soulmate, you'll still have, you know, some 3D stuff. You might have 
survivalistic comforts, uh, which, you know, a lot of people, that's a concern of theirs. The mind is very afraid. But let me tell you something, people. That's how they get people to get life insurance is what if this person isn't here? What if you have someone? What I teach is how to rely on your union where it's not codependency, where it's interdependency. Also, how do you get your channels open so that you can have a comfort level and beyond a comfort level where you have magical occurrences every single day and with each other? How do you manage to magically manifest? Because some of you have noticed that for twin flames, your manifestor might feel broken. It's not broken. It, it's going to be accelerated with each other. So being together, and this means being physically together, that is the only way. And yes, there is only one. And yes, you did not get introduced to each other and activate each other so you could be dropped on your butt. This has been a very, very challenging time for people because not only is it having faith and trust, it's believing in what your heart has already not just seen, but felt, okay? Feeling, because if you go back to the very part of your awakening, what is the common thing? It's your body, your body felt. You felt something. For some of you, you blasted open. Everything blasted open and your life turned upside down when you met this person. Or the rug got pulled out. For other people, it's been more of a dawning, gradual re realization in what they're doing. And so, you know, you have people that have been very heartily releasing the soul damage that has occurred. Now, the part in this of the Blu-rays has been the large bundle, large level, cosmic galactic level damage so that right here, people have it at a minimum. That doesn't mean that you don't get good at your body and practice and practice with each other. Because even people that are together, and there's a lot of people that live with each other already, and I applaud them because they're working through their stuff. But if you're still doing old things, it will show up at some point. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing, expecting the results to be different, and it's not different. So I have something to show you here, and that is a very quick little demo of how I feel this is going. So some people very naturally have been wondering, you know, where's my twin at? Well, your twin has firmly exited 2016 just like you have. And they're in the water, okay? It is primarily those who have been holding the old electric masculine. And while I have a man here depicted, a male bodied man, Whoever is holding the electric, the old feminine and old masculine electric, which can be a hetero person, it can be a man, a woman, it could be a gay person, it can be a lesbian person, it can be a transgender person. And they are firmly in the emotional waters of the heart. You will feel some of these emotions from your other, and you need to help them. Meanwhile, his twin is here. She has elevated, and yet there she is on her lovely boat bobbing in the water. In the doldrums. What are the doldrums? Okay. The doldrums is an expression of sort of flat. It's just flat. The energy is flat. Nothing's happening. There's no wind. There are actually places on the earth here that are zones, and when in olden days ships would go, they would get in these places and they would pray for a wind to come. Okay, they would pray for the wind. Well, the cosmic wind is coming, and pretty soon he will stop bobbing in the waters of the heart unsure. 
he's shut the door on 2016. He's pretty much gone, and he's been like, Pfft. he's in the water, and he's getting to her, okay? He is getting to her. Her part in it is to lovingly reach out for him and help him. Only she can. Do you want to know why only she can? Only she can because she's got the connections in her kidneys, in her spine, in her eyes, and most importantly, in her heart. She's the one who will be able to say, you know what? This energy feels flat or stuck sometimes, but I'm going to keep doing what, you, what I can. Now, there are reasons that the energy goes flat and why you have a stay put guidance or you might feel like no matter which way you turn the universe wants you to stay put why for this very reason because you're the one that is the lifeline you're the lighthouse you are the one that says keep going you can do this you can get sober you can give up those running buddies you can give up that old relationship you can give up that job we are intended to be together. Now, the other piece of it is that as this person goes, what have they been doing in 2016? They've come out of that twin flame closet and some of the things that they know that pe they haven't wanted to say because people will think they're crazy and you're not crazy. It has been exactly that they have, in many ways, wanted things to go well and go easy. There's all kinds of things that are coming up for people. It's going to be their inner, inner child stuff. And let me tell you, the inner child stuff doesn't just start here with your childhood. It actually was triggered out and concluded in this life. It started in these lives. Okay? And it started with some of the stories that you may are so unbelievable that they've almost become unbelievable. And yet it has been corrected by the Orpheme and lovingly rewoven. We have rewoven those timelines. We have closed the door on 2016. And we've put a lot of that behind. Now, there is a grace period on this. So you may find that, you know, he has issues, but it is actually the other who was in a initiation ritual back in ancient Peru. Or that what she feels from him, that someone is sexually abusing him. She may be picking up on his angst over being circumcised. You may not know the details of what some of has occurred in past lives or in your other planetary lives. You will feel it. Now, the, uh, the thing I was saying in the beginning about your, you may push it out of your body, okay? I want to let you know something. If she has a splinter, okay, let's say she has a splinter and it's damaged. And if she moves, it's going to damage her arm. It'll damage the tendons. And she'll have limited mobility. So she goes and says, I need to get the splinter out of me. And has prayed, please let my arm heal up properly so I have no nerve damage, no tendon damage. I want full use of my arm. I love to bake. I love to cook. I love to massage my man. I love to hug him. I love to dance. I want the full use of my, all of my parts. I want all of it. And yet, what does happen is that the inflammation will come to push out anything foreign. To the large piece will come out. That's been the job of the orpheme. But the body will send white blood cells and antibodies and get the poisons out. You are dealing with a level here that has been microscopic in the sense of toxins and poisons 
toxic people, people using poisons, and also high level, entire tribes of people being decimated. So this is some of the damage, only some that I talk about and refer to in here. This is an example. So staring at the splinter and praying about it, the prayer has been answered. The big stuff is out. Now it's time to do the self-care. That is loving yourself. Loving yourself doesn't mean turning your back on the other half of you. Help, I'm floundering in these waters. Well, I just want to go get a drink with someone, so I've turned my back on you. No, no. And some twin flames will do, you know, do this tit for tat with each other. Quid pro quo, I'll give you back as much as you're giving me. Or they won't see that what they actually are doing is, is the same thing. And it's okay because this is all very emotional. The lower spectrum emotions will come out. Now, what else is self-care? Self-care is doing your best to get yourself in a clear state, not clouded with other people's energies or thoughts, to clear your body, to maintain every single day. And so that is what I talk about in my new live webinar. It's about the angelic lineage. There are two other ones that will be very helpful for you. Now, some of you may remember this. I called it being in the new life. And some of the subtitles were, there's a fungus among us. Some of this stuff comes out with funguses, um, inflammations, things that you might not connect. And by the way, if you are a medical professional and you work with people, please Make yourself aware of how funguses do display themselves because a fungus will take anywhere from 10 days to sometimes a little longer to clear the body and it's systemic, okay? And there might be people who say, oh, I do a candida cleanse and I do it for six months. That might be a bit of overkill. Everything with twin flames is finding a balance because what you'll find is if you don't balance, you're other. That is another thing that I teach. We're not just teaching about one person. We're teaching about both of you coming into harmony with each other. Closer and closer and closer and not leaving your twin who you're saying, when are they going to get it? Well, guess what? They're floundering in these waters. Help them. You help them to get it. You help them to understand it through the heart, through experiences. Not through mental inf information. A lot of times the mental information is what is draining out. He's not supposed to carry a file cabinet in his head. She doesn't want that. They don't want that in their house. They don't. They don't want it in their love nest. Okay? She's like, ooh, love nest. You said love nest. Yes. And my second part is going to be just before Valentine's Day. So you are feathering your love nest. I talked about there's a fungus among us. There is um, long ago and far away, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. I talk about some of the stuff in here, the introduction of it, what to do about certain inflammations and so forth, why it can come up. Your liver and kidneys are connection points. If you want to get together with your twin, you have to find a way to stop the addictions. It may not be your addiction. It might be your other's addiction. How do you get them to stop it? It's an inside job. I have those tools in here. The other one that I just recently did, healing psyche, mind, and body. So this is very important because this is where a lot of the weirdnesses, the strangenesses, that's what I call it. There's a technical word for Twin Flame Landia, the weirdnesses. But things will look very weird or strange, and yet how you sense it is going to be what tells you. But I have several meditations with, with this one, and there will be a meditation with this one, which is intended to help you. Now, 
she didn't come here to lose. And a lot of people say that. I didn't come here to lose. But sometimes I get lost and I don't know what to do. That is why some of us are teachers. I'm a teacher, okay? I'm no different, although this is new information. This is very new. It is very detailed in here. If you like a balance of the spiritual with some explanation, the medical information, the metaphysical chakra information, and things to do, because that's who I am. I'm like, you can't just tell me about it if there isn't something to do about it. Let's get it resolved and let's resolve it as quickly as possible and let's get this couple together. Let's get everyone together. What a happy world it will be when people are in love and they are together and they're utterly secure and supported and knowing that they're in their love. Let's get them out of the doldrums of their life. Let's get them out of those places where no wind seems to blow. The cosmic wind can't get in there and stir things up and enliven them and refresh them and renew them. Let's get them together. So if you are interested, please check my website at www.twinflamesmerge.com. The information will be on there. If you would like one-on-one, -on -one, and I just want to mention about the group. Thanks to everyone who did participate in the last, two we last few webinars that I did live. It was lively. People almost didn't want to leave, and that's a good sign. People had great questions. They felt safe. They felt like this was a context in which they could ask and get some, not just direct answers, but support and more information that was proactive, okay? Now, in this, you have the ability to listen or just view and listen, okay? You don't have to participate. That's, that's what I want to make clear. Not everyone wants to participate. Sometimes where you're at, maybe you really want to because you're isolated. And for other people... Maybe the energies are a bit too much and you'd rather hear some of it and hear what people have to say. There is a presentation, there is a live question and answer, and there is a meditation to close out everything. And we follow up the next week. So it goes beyond and it will, you know, it will carry you through. Now, the other thing to know is the information in this one, and I do talk about several key things throughout my past few webinars about the body, because that I feel is one of the most important things, is when you get the bodies upgraded and connected and the channels flowing smoothly, that's when things get very easy on this journey. And I've been through these things. I wrote this because I had been through it myself in detail. Now, it usually takes me through sessions and through um, my own higher self guidance quite a bit of time to compile this and make it concise so that it is usable for people. So that you're not, you're actually living your life and you're using this as a tool to have a really good experience. If you'd like a one on one session with me, we do talk about that, and we would be able to go over anything. And it's done through guidance. I do it through the energy of the heart, not the mind. So please check it out. The information will be there. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. And it's really going to be a great year. It really is. And remember, first wave angelics, you're in there. You're out the door and you're in the new. So thanks so much. Bye now.